and we're back. And today we're going to be talking about scorpions. So scorpions are the only arachnid out there that have two business ends. They have their powerful claws in the front and they have a venomous sting in the back. Scorpions often terrify people because of this. And even though there are a lot of highly venomous species in the world, like most other arthropods, they're generally harmless to us. So we're going to start with a couple of tropical species here. Awesome. Um, so one of my favorites here is the flat rock scorpion of Southern Africa. These are from kind of semi-arid regions with a lot of uh, boulders and rocks and stuff. So she's a little feisty, but I think we can get her up. So the flat rock is probably your least venomous of the scorpions. And if you notice, the tail is pretty small and slender, and then the stinger at the end, the telson, is pretty tiny. It's hardly noticeable. So I'm going to keep her low because she can be pretty flighty sometimes. And remember with arachnids, they're pretty delicate. The bigger they get, the more you don't want to drop them. So that's true. So let's see if we can get her to crawl back on her rock. Oh, she's in a pretty good mood today. Oh, that's so, nice. Um, just like a lot of other arthropods, their main defense is to run and hide, first and <laughs> foremost. Although occasionally these flat rocks will stand their ground and kind of put their pinchers up. But as you can see, she's generally pretty calm. She just wants to be left alone. Yeah. So another African species here, but more from the central part of the continent, from the rainforests, is the emperor scorpion. Beautiful. So this has been a popular pet scorpion due to its large size and generally docile temperament, but some of them can be a little nippy, like this one here. Let's see if we can get... Ooh! Yep. So generally, we don't want to handle them if they're doing this, but he's already on my hand. So Already there, so it's yep. okay. We'll just keep you low and... Yeah. So there's actually uh, several species in Africa of emperor scorpion. The true emperor, Pandinus imperator, is the common pet store one that's become a lot rarer because they're no longer allowed to be collected. Wow. And they're very difficult to rear in captivity. But there's a lot of very closely related ones like the dictator scorpion that are very hard to tell apart. So this one could be another species of Pandinus. And usually the true imperators are a lot more docile than this one. Okay. Wow. But again, uh, just like the other uh, scorpion here, this one has a very mild venom and is totally harmless to us. And if uh, he decides to use that stinger, it would be like a bee sting. Actually, I'd say even less than a bee sting. Wow. Hmm? Well, these are both two very beautiful examples of scorpions, but also we should let them get back to their favorite thing, which is hiding under nice rocks and logs. Yep, and like most other arthropods, they spend a majority of their life just resting and waiting for prey to come by. Uh, occasionally, in the warm nights, they'll come out and hunt, but they spend a lot of their time doing just this. Awesome. Well, join us next week when we go into our native species of scorpions.